Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I hope you all are preparing well for the upcoming CS ANET exam and I hope that you have done most of your preparation by now. Uh, I have made already a detailed video for the remaining days, a strategy for the remaining days. In case if you have not watched that video, the link is there is an I button, you can watch that particular video as well. But I am here going to talk about part C, okay, or section C of your CS ANET exam. Now, if you have never given this exam earlier or if it is first time for you, you should know or you should understand that section C is highly important section of your exam, okay. But not because it is high weightage because you get 100 marks out of it. Uh, each question in section C is of 4 marks and you can do 25 questions in section C so that makes total 100 marks. So, your exam is of 200 marks and this alone can be, can give you 50% of your score which is like 100 marks is too much or it's most of the 50% of your CSR net uh, marks weightage okay so that makes this section very very important and this is one of the section which actually is the deciding factor okay this this is the factor which will or this is the section which will make sure that whether you will qualify this or whether you will be able to make it or not okay that's that's the thing if you are good in section C or if you have done a lot of good questions or correct questions in section C, then only your chances of getting qualified for CSI net or GRF becomes high. So, all the things or you can say that most of the things depends upon your section C. I will also make about the other sections in, in my upcoming days like I will be making detailed videos on that. But today we will focus on section C. So, not only the weightage is high over here, but it becomes challenging over here because the level of questions will be high. Four marker questions are not going to be easy, of course, and you will get some, some challenging question. They will not be straightforward. You have to apply more than one concept to solve a single question. That's how in the last few years, if you will analyze previous few years of CSRNet exam, you will find out that that's how CSRNet is changing their pattern. Okay, And uh, that's how it becomes important for you to solve questions in a way that you don't do mistake and also negative marking is high over here because for each incorrect question you get minus one so for each correct question you get four marks but for each incorrect you get minus one now out of all these things the most challenging part is to choose 25 questions out of 60 and this is where most of the students struggle okay that's because they might already or there are many students who know more than 25 questions or in the exam when they sit uh, it becomes difficult for them to choose that which 25 questions they have to solve or in many cases because the number of questions are so much there are 60 questions they don't even able to look at all the questions till end like they are not able to solve or they are not able to see that what are the other questions because they don't have enough time because we have restricted amount of time as well okay so i am going to talk about all the things related to section c how you can tackle section c what is the best way to uh, like to approach section c so that all your struggles all your problems like you will not be losing questions you will be able to see all the questions all the 60 questions second thing is that you will have enough knowledge of choosing 25 questions like how you are going to make the, that particular choice that will be also resolved and the third thing is that if you will resolve these things of course your marks are going to be increased in section c and all in all it is going to enhance your overall marks or it will it is going to automatically increase your overall marks so if you are newbie if you are someone who has never given this exam of course this is an important video and if you are someone who has given the exam in past time and you have seen that you have not got good marks in section c or their, your marks were significantly low in section c then also this video is going to be helpful for you okay fine so first let's talk about the time management how much time you should give to section c as i said that it is one of the section or one of the part which has very high weightage so you should actually give around 90 minutes of your 180 minutes okay so your overall exam is a 180 minutes so you should minimum you should give 90 minutes to this you can even give more time to this 90 minutes to 100 minutes but don't give beyond 120 minutes okay so you should stick between 90 to 110 minutes that is 110 is max and minimum 90 minutes you have to give to section c so that you can go around all the questions and you can do this section correctly or gracefully okay so that you don't lose marks from this particular section okay you cannot afford doing questions in hurry over here because again as i said negative marking is quite high in this section so 
what is the correct way to approach so let's start with it okay so this thing i have also discussed many times but i'm just going to tell you that this i call it as a cyclic way of solving question okay so a cyclic way goes in a way that when you start section c now it depends upon you i'm not going to tell you that which section you should start first in your exam it's all up to you okay but whenever you have started doing questions of section c first thing is that you have to read and you have to go through each and every section we will take advantage of computer based test that's what your csn is going to be about and in cbt mode of exam you get a option of mark as review or flag okay so in csr net there is an option of to flag a question and in gate you generally get a, a option to mark for review okay both of these work in the same way in this way you can mark a question so that you can come and solve it later so this is flagging or flag a question or mark for review is the option which is going to be super useful for you to solve section c questions okay so how we are going to approach it we will start from section c and we will go around each question one by one okay so in this way you will start from the first question of section c and you will go to till the 60th 60th question of section c one by one you will just go to the first question see what is this question about and then you will recall whether you have studied this topic or not because out of these 60 questions there will be many questions which will be from a topic which you have not even studied let's say while your preparation you have not studied quantum chemistry and you got a question from quantum chemistry in section c so you do not have to waste time on that question okay you can because you have not studied the topic you should not waste your time on that okay skip it and go to the next question you have enough questions to choose from okay out of 60 you have to choose less than 50 percent you just have to choose 25 questions okay skip it go to the next question next question let's say came from organic spectroscopy and this is the topic which you have studied okay now you do not have to start solving that right away okay just mark it for review for now okay just mark for review for not uh, for now and go to the next question so the questions which come from the topic which you have not studied you have to skip that question okay and the question which is from a topic which you have studied or the concept which you have studied or which was the one which you have prepared for the exam mark that for review now in the same way you will keep on doing it till the 60 question now once you will go from question number one to question number 60 of section c you will see that you have already skipped many questions and you have already marked many questions now you will of course be able to if you have prepared well you might be able to mark more than 25 questions now now is the time that where you have to just go to those questions where you have marked and start solving them now this thing going to the 60 questions that can be easily done in 30 minutes okay you do not have to waste a lot of time on just reading the questions 30 minutes is enough but now what is the benefit of doing this now you have an idea that what the whole question paper or what the whole section c is all about and you will get a confidence that yes you know a lot of questions see when you sit for the exam and if you go with the traditional method if you go with the usual method of solving questions you solve question number one then you go to question number two then try solving it and you are not able to solve that then you go to question number three then you start solving it then you are not able to do you go to question number four if you go in this traditional method you are actually wasting a lot of time second thing is that let's say question number one was the one which was from the topic which you have studied and you started solving it and you were able to solve it when you went to question number two it came from quantum chemistry which you have not studied you went to question number three it came from let's say uh, electrochemistry again you, let's say you have skipped electrochemistry okay i'm not telling to skip it but just let's assume that someone is the person who has skipped electrochemistry question number three is from electrochemistry question number four let's say it came from bio and organic chemistry and again that was also a topic which a person has skipped he has not studied that topic so what will happen that when he will see these three questions consequently that were that are not from the topic which he has studied or from the topics which he, he has prepared in that way he will lose his confidence and then when the fifth question will come which will be from a topic which he has studied let's say fifth question came from pericyclic reaction which he has already studied but now because the last three questions were not from the topic which he has studied and he has got some panic inside his head now the fifth question which he will ap approach the pericyclic question there are high chances that he will make some silly mistakes over there okay so that is very important to avoid silly mistakes so this way the one the way which i am telling you in this video that go ahead and try to 
read every question starting from 1 to question number 60 in section C and just utilize 30 minutes in that. Try to do all this. If you are able to do it in less than 30 minutes, well and good. But 30 minutes is fine. Okay. So, you go ahead with all these questions. In this way, by the end of these 30 minutes, one thing you will have for sure that these are the questions which I know and I have confidence I will be able to solve them. That is one thing. Secondly, you will have this thing that yes, I am sorted. I do not have to now hover around each and every question by, uh, one by one. I selectively know that okay, question number uh, 6, question number 8, question number 10, these are the ones which I have to look around. Okay, So, whatever you have marked for review, those are targeted questions which you have to go now and try to solve them. So, this way you are saving a lot of time. Okay, uh, If you want to practice this, you can definitely do this before the actual exam comes because there are a lot of strategies which you might be having of your own. I would recommend you to try to solve some mock test or give some test series with some strategies okay which you which you think that uh, that is going to work for you if you think this strategy you want to try try it in a mock test or try it in a test series before your CS net exam okay so that you get uh, uh, you know uh, affirmation that yes this technique or this strategy might work for me in exam as well so try to do that in a test series for that we have already launched a test series for CS net uh, the test series is right now on our website and the link to enroll into the test series is there in the description of this video. You can enroll yourself into the test series. The best way, best thing about this particular test series is that you will get all new questions in this test series. The, the entire interface is very similar to what you are going to get in CS net exam. You will get all three sections, uh, section A, section B and section, section C. So you will get all the questions in a way just how you get in CS net exam you get all the options kind of thing also that means in section C you will get all 60 questions out of which 25 you have to do section B 40 questions 35 you have to do section A 20 questions 15 you have to do just the way you do in the CS net exam the whole interface of this test series is entirely same along with that you also get a scientific calculator and once you are able to do this test series you will also get a detailed solution of the question so that you will be able to see that what are the mistakes which you are making. All right. So having said that, you can enroll yourself into this particular test series and try this method, which I am telling you all uh, right now in this video. Okay. So yeah, as I said, you have to go from question number one to question number sixty. You have to go one by one, mark for review all those questions, and then once this thirty minutes is done, you have already marked them. Now get back to the question, targeted question, and try to solve them. If you want to utilize time little bit more you can do one more thing that while marking them for review you will be having your scribble pad or rough note whatever is provided to you in the examination center try to give the question number and if you remember some formula or if you want to write down some formula or some concept or something related to that you can write it down okay so that when you get back to that question it becomes easy for you to recall but i have seen many students and i have uh, like i have mentored a lot of students i have followed this st uh, this strategy myself during my when I was giving my CS net exam and it has worked beautifully for me and it has worked beautifully for many students in past years I have got a lot of response from students that this particular technique has worked for them last uh, in last CS net exam I made this video very late I was like I think a week before the exam and a lot many students told me that if they would have known this technique they would have tried it so that's why this time I'm making this video almost a month before CS net exam so I think this is the right time when you should know all these technique and you should start applying them in your mock test in your test series so that you get to know or get an idea of how you want to apply this test series uh, apply this uh, method uh, in the actual exam and get benefit of it. In this way you will sort out a lot of difficulties or you will minimize a lot of risk first you will minimize the risk of not able to see all the 60 questions of part C because after the exam ends many students come, come out of the examination center and they are like paper was too lengthy I was not able to even see last few questions where last few questions were easy for them but they were not able to reach to that question because they were just busy in solving earlier questions uh, last five questions were easy let's say they were not able to even reach those questions so that risk you are minimizing secondly uh, you are minimizing the risk of uh, like uh, not able to do 25 questions because of the same thing because of the time constraint okay so here you will be managing your time very easily and you will be having now targeted questions and now you will have an idea that how many let's say if you are able to mark 
30 questions out of 60 now you can choose which 25 you have to do out of these 30 okay those 30 uh, those 25 in which you are very confident you should choose them and re, uh, you can just trade off with the other five or you can just leave the other five okay so this is how you can approach and this is one of the way by which you can minimize this this uh, uh, risk of not able to uh, you know attempt all the complete question paper and again this is also going to minimize your negative mark this is going to give you a lot of marks in the exam and it will enhance your chances of qualifying this exam one more thing is that uh, when you are making a choice between questions let's say as i said let's say you were able to mark 30 questions and now you only have to do 25 out of them right of course you only can do 25 questions in section c so out of those 30 how to choose those 25 which are going to be the correct one now it it depends on person to person because some might, someone might have done some other topic as their strong point someone might have some other topic as their strong point but what i will suggest is try to do those question in which you are more confident about uh, the answer okay generally i recommend this that avoid organic chemistry question especially reaction mechanism or reagents related question because there there are a lot, lot of chances that you might get confused between two options and there are a lot of chances that there will be some something which uh, is going to come and that's going to change the answer of the question which you are expecting the answer will be entirely different because of some of the other effect now i am a person who has always emphasized the importance of uh, of physical chemistry in csrnet because physical chemistry is going to give you solid answer it's going to give you a numerical answer which is 99% is going to be correct if it is available in the options so if you have a choice between physical chemistry uh, answer or if you have to choose between a question of physical chemistry and organic chemistry i will always recommend you to choose physical chemistry because there are high chances that that will be correct not a organic chemistry one but again if you are confident with your organic chemistry you can go ahead with that this is all my opinion or my suggestion for you it's up to you how you are going to you like how you are going to utilize it but the method of utilizing the cyclic method of doing these 60 question that is definitely going to be useful for you if you can try it in any of the mock tests and do let me know in the comment section if you have any other question related to the preparation i'll be also making a detailed video regarding section a which is your uh, general aptitude which i know that many students struggle over there as well so i'll be making a detailed video uh, in the upcoming days if you want a specific uh, video or if you have any other specific query you can ask me in the comment section below i'll try to make a detailed video on that as well that's it from my side for this particular video guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care all the best for your preparation